Hey. Hey, everybody. Let me turn around. Here we go. That better. Morgan's pressing buttons on the computer, which turned my screen over. <laughs> so do not be alarmed if my countdown did not go all the way down to, to zero, as it were. But welcome, welcome, and happy Friday. For those of you who are watching on my Hungry Heffy channel or Leslie Oman channel on YouTube, um, I'm not crafting tonight at nine o'clock in my usual Come Craft With Me slot. Uh, we are away for the weekend. So I thought that while we were doing a live stream here for Heffy Doodle, I would also stream it on Hungry Heffy or Leslie Oman's YouTube so that you guys can, tonight when you log on and you're waiting for me, you can go, oh, there's something new here. And then you can watch that as well. So I want to make a card for one of my neighbors. Our friends have a little boy who's turning one tomorrow. So I'm going to be making a card for a little baby boy. And Morgan has pulled out these. Dun, dun, dun. You're going to come and tell everybody what your plans are. Yeah. Come on then. Come on over. Although I think your plans are fairly vague at the moment, are they? Yeah. Yeah. We're having Friday, Friday craft brain problems, I think. Yeah, I feel like I haven't sat down <laughs> all day. Where I'm like, oh, I want to use some rainbow colours. Rainbow. I, I grabbed the stack of Cat and Fuller inks. Hey, Elena. How are you doing? Elena has also got ratties. <gasps> Morgan has two ratties, cinnamon and moth. Yeah. And they're so cute. Also, oh, one of them fell down, like, my top yesterday so i've been scratched horribly down here and it's it's not exactly the most comfortable thing see your scratch yeah and i'm like who hey, was it was it moss i don't even know uh -huh. <laughs> they were both oh, on my shoulders <laughs> and someone fell so it's kind of like oh crap one is an angel and one is a naughty boy it's something. just independent yeah he's spirited yeah <laughs> he's very cute so let's flip around this screen See what we're working on. I have pulled out the Stitched Birthday Trio A2 frame dies. And the reason I pulled that out is that it's got a happy and a B day. Happy B day. B day. Um, die. Can't get my words right now. Um, and I'm also, I've pulled out this stamp set, which is the 2x2 two two Safari Animals. And I'm thinking a giraffe because one, it's really cute. And two, yeah, I think probably, you know, he is teething and, you know, those like Sophie giraffe things that every child has. But yeah. I think that's the vibes that I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to try and uh, create some sort of car that says Happy B Day. I pulled out some letters because his name is Kai. So we'll see how that comes around. And then it has a giraffe. And I'm not sure where the rest of this uh, experiment is going to take me. Um, but hey ho. What about you? So me pressing numbers is what flipped the camera around. Mm -hmm. uh, because I thought I would use a random number generator. Oh, and nice. choose something to use at random. And I'm really glad that it was actually a stamp set. Because I don't know what I would have done if it was like a random sort random of stencil. stencil. So it actually came up with Quality Hub. Yay! So what did you do? You used the skews? Yeah, I used the skews. Nice. So that was the easiest way to do it. Perfect. So, something to do with your koalas then, eh? Yeah. Something rainbow. And something rainbow. So I think I'm going to attempt to use this frame, um, but I'm going to maybe cut away these internal sections so we just have this outside area. I think that would be fun. And then we'll have happy and then B day like this. And we'll have to put his name on it, Kai. Just for the sake of it. I think. I'm going to choose a stencil. Oh, you're on stencil duty, are you? Yeah, I think I'll start recycling. So I know I want to use rainbow colors. That's about as far as my brain is going to stay. <laughs> No, Elena says, no rackies at the moment. We're taking a little break for them. Yeah. All right. So I'm liking this so far. feel like I need some grass at the bottom here. So maybe we'll use the grassy lass stencil or the um, grassy lass. No. Greenfield? Greenfield stencil or the grassy lass dies. There we go. 
uh, for down here but it is his birthday so I feel like I need to pull out some birthday accessories so while you're playing over there mm -hmm. I'll go and hunt so I have picked up the Fiesta Town stencil I think I might just do a generic birthday card cool so I think I'm gonna want it up this way so I'm just using the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station to try and keep everyone where they should be. I was going to use the popping by, but I can't see it. Is it in there? He might be in here. Yes, he is. There you oh, go. Okay. So I have two cakes. I've got a big cake here, which might work. Or I have a smaller cake going on over here. So I'm not sure which one of these we're going to go for at the moment. I like the fact that this has a little party hat. Maybe we'll put the party hat on him. Or maybe we'll add another animal. Maybe we'll go for the capybara down here because capybara is super cute. He There's is no super. denying it. And he could maybe have a little party hat on. Hmm? What do you think? I think so. Any excuse for a party hat. Any excuse. Party. I don't even know if I'm going to fit all my colours on here, but we'll give it a go. We'll be ambitious. Blendy, blendy. Blendy, blendy. Blendy, blendy. Okay, so I've got two of these. Let me grab some uh, alcohol marker friendly cardstock. Dun, dun. So, Morgan, any plans for the weekend? Um, yes, actually, I was surprised with plans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> always good. Surprise slash lynched. Uh, see some friends and their menagerie of animals. Oh, so, yeah, cool. it could be worse. <laughs> yeah, it could be. No, it'd be really, it'd be really good. So, um, fun. That'd be good. And then obviously, it's Father's Day over here. It is, yes. Sunday. I think Father's Day. Is the same. Mother's Day is always different. But I can't. I Mother's Day is always the same. US and UK. Please let us know in the comments if that is me telling a lie. It happens every now and again. <laughs> I think that's the part that confuses me. If one of them changes, the other stays the same. And you're like, why aren't you being consistent? And then I always panic when you see um, sort of adverts from the more. Um, american side of like facebook and instagram oh, yeah, and that definitely. going you know buy your stuff now for for whatever this day is and you're like wait a minute exactly have i forgotten and then you go into sort of like tesco or asda and they've not got the stand up for father's day yeah. or whatever, and you're like oh hang on i do feel like the stand for father's day has been up since like easter i feel like it's been there for ages and ages yeah um Colleague and Crafts is Father's Day is Sunday in the US. I would Yay. like to formally petition whoever's in charge of deciding when these days are to make them the same worldwide, please. <laughs> Who is in charge of that? I don't know. I bet is there like a mathematical formula to it? Or is it that somebody just decides? Right, guys, next year we're going to have Easter. I feel like Easter might be to do with the biblical calendar and it's like it moves every year because there's so many weeks. That makes sense, but I don't know that can't work because otherwise it would keep moving right the way through the year, wouldn't it? It must be one of these things where the calendar they used way back when is not the one we use now. Yeah. So they're like, if let you know, do this. Let us know. Oh, Elena says, I think you're confused. I'm married to an American. <laughs> yeah. It's a Friday afternoon. Confusion happens. Yeah. Yeah. It does. I've also, I have spent all morning at the um at the bathroom showroom we are finally starting work on our upstairs renovations on our attic conversion and it's been one of these things that has felt like it's very far away and now all of a sudden it feels like it's very very not far away <laughs> and as a result I'm like panicking because people are going, well, when's your equipment, when's your, all your bath and that getting here? And I'm like, I've not ordered it. So, oopsies. 
So lastminute.com I have been out looking at baths and toilets and sinks and taps and quite frankly I'm not sure I can look at another toilet so I better just, have, I better just hold it in all day. I just can't seem to manage it at the moment. My head is about to explode with all such funness. He's a little capybara boy. Add him on there. Elena says, Mother's Day here goes with the religious calendar. Aha, okay. It's always the middle Sunday of Lent. And it really originally was for Mothering Sunday or for Mother Church. Oh, I see. It was from, for the church, not for actual physical, biological mothers. I love learning things. I know. I feel like we've learned a lot today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Laura's here. Hey, Laura Hello. Rumble. Redoing a bathroom means making 11,000 decisions. Oh, seriously. Absolutely. Because it's not just like floor tiles and you've got wall tiles and then you've got tiles that go behind the, the, the panel as a little feature and then you've got tiles that goes in, in like the bath for like a feature wall and stuff. It's just a lot. And then some of the things look very similar it's like here's all the baths i'm like is there actually any differences between all these baths hey louise louise mccullough is here too hello. hello friend that is looking absolutely smashing i know I'm glad, I'm glad i've managed to fit all the colors on yeah i think it looks amazing i'm gonna go back and look at them all just for a wee bit of a blendy 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 i'm gonna go for a party hat here. Let's see. Alina <gasps> said, I had an email from Professor Berry the other day. Oh my gosh, that's a Berrios, wasn't it? That's a name from the blast from the past. <laughs> How's he doing? So Alina and I worked in the Research Ethics Committee. Oh, yeah. Kids. Do you remember me telling yeah, you Yeah, I remember hearing stories, yes. Oh, yes. All fun stories. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> our favourite bit was organising the catering and, um, I mean, my favourite bit, apart from <laughs> hanging out and chatting with Jillian all day about crafty things, um, it was ordering the catering and then eating all the food. That was delicious. That was the best part of anything. I know. What shall we have for a little guy? Mm, I feel like he needs a tiny little party hat. So let me go to like Turtley Awesome or something. What? Turtley Awesome? Have you got a party hat in your koala? Uh, there might be. Yes. I think there is. So not celebrate. Oh. Are we getting confused? Oh, yeah. Could well be. Friday feeling. <laughs> I'm still working at Addenbrooke's. Wow. Well, that is crazy. So, Elena, I will be celebrating my 15th wedding anniversary this month. And um, I got married when we were working together. So, he's still there. Quite, quite a... He must be, what do you call it whenever you have the... You work with... What is it when it... In, on tenure. Is that a thing over here? Tenure? Tenure? Have you heard of that before? Yeah, I don't know exactly what it means, but I have heard of it. I know is that you can it essentially means you get job security of some sort. I don't I don't really know. I'm not gonna fake it. Don't really know. <laughs> if you know, let us know. Um I'm gonna start colouring these in because I'm not really knowing where what my next thing will be. I do feel like I need a number one. Oh actually, do you know what I could do? I have a stamp set and I'm pretty sure it's Studio Katia and I think it's like candles in the shape of numbers. Oh, Wouldn't that be cute. cool? We could put it on here. Let me go and have a look and see if I can find the time. Joe, I think it's crazy. I remember when we made Kai's card on live stream <laughs> last year. When he was born. And I feel like that was five minutes ago. It's funny, um, they're friends of ours. Their little one I think will be two in November. Um um, we saw her recently and in my head she's still this teeny tiny little newborn that we saw and then because of lockdown and COVID and all that shenanigans we didn't see her for ages and I saw her last weekend and I'm like 
who's the tiny child running around? Yeah. Like, who who do you belong to? <laughs> Before I realized who it was. It's always crazy. Like, the worst one is whenever you um, you don't like when you don't see my, like my nieces and nephews, and then you come back and the last time you saw them at eleven or something, and they're they're. 14, 15, and they, you know, they talk like this, and they've got a real deep voice. And... Yeah, we had that with uh, one of Keenan's cousin's kids. They We saw them just before lockdown. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they were they didn't seem that old. And then we uh, didn't recognise them when we saw them because they've shot up and they're now taller than yeah. all of us. Taller than their parents. Yeah. <laughs> right, are we ready for this big reveal? Call me the birthday bear. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you know I should, have, should have splattered that before I put the stencil, took the stencil off. Well, you can always lay it back down again. Mm. All is not lost, child. I do love adding a bit of splatter. Now, here's where I have regrets that I didn't create a little bit more room up there. I'll leave it down to the side. So this is called Colby the birthday bear and it has a little cakey and then it has these numbers on it so it's kind of cute. That's too cute we shall see what happens i was just thinking i'm sure i saw kai's welcome card being made said laura <laughs> which she remembers as well <laughs> laura said ta-da i've not met a stencil it doesn't look good in rainbow but fiesta time no oh, fiesta time knocked it out of the park i'm gonna scoosh this this has got perfect perfect rolls <coughs> yeah in oh, it. I'm going to push this well away from your images. I'm going to get rid of the dog because the um, bin has arrived. Oh, I'm going to have to go get a snack. Poor Ranger. I feel like I should put some Copic White on here too. But I also don't want to take away from the rainbowness. Just have to see what would feel like. You saying? I'm saying I feel like I should put some Copic white on it, but at the same time, I don't want to take away from like the rainbowness because there is white space. I like it a lot. I don't think I you have to worry. Put them out the way though, while I clean my stencil. Good shout. I'm. I picked up a couple of Copic pens. I have got Y twenty one thirty eight. And also some brownie tones, 3335 in the E collection. Um, mostly because I always feel like I colour my giraffes in this sort of yellowy, fawny colour. And then I go, oh, actually, it needs to be more brown. But maybe his spotties will be brown. Is that the way a giraffe works? It's sort of a orangey colour underneath with brown spots. I think so. I think so too. It does just make me think of um, what was that film, Madagascar? Oh yeah, I was I totally. And the yeah, zebra with black and white stripes, or white and black stripes. Oh, you mean is he black with white stripes? Oh or yeah, white with black stripes. That one. Is it the same for a giraffe? Are they brown with yellow bits between their spots? No. <laughs> Elena says, "Love the rainbow background. Very appropriate for Pride Month. Yay! Yay. Absolutely." Uh. Natalie made an awesome pride card. You'll see that over on our Instagram in a reel. Yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. It's very yeah. cool. Cute. We've made all the little flags. Inspired Piper to uh, draw pride flags all over one of her t-shirts. Looking good, Mr. Giraffe. If you had a giraffe, what would you call it? Uh, I was going to say Jeffrey, but is that not the name of the Toys R Us giraffe? Oh, good old Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah. So, Jeffrey doesn't exist anymore, I guess. Apparently, they're making a comeback with Toys R Us. You're kidding. So I heard, but I don't know. Exciting. I do miss the magic of going into Toys R Us. <laughs> hey, Leanne. Jerry, says Laura. You'd call it Jerry. Jerry. Maybe it was Jerry Giraffe, was it? No, I think it was Jerry, was it? Mm, I don't know. 
Craig used to work in Toys R Us back in the day when he was a wee chicken. <laughs> I can imagine that would have been hellish. <laughs> it was in Glasgow and it was. Um, and so he actually worked in the bike department building bikes. So most of the time he was out back, out the back, building a bike. Hiding um, from the uh, screaming children. <laughs> he used to he used to say that um well these adults would come and like essentially just abandon their kids in the like hot wheels aisle and things like that <laughs> and then after that he worked in game and also parents would abandon their kids there too <laughs> no getting away from it Jerry Giraffe. Maybe this is a Jerry. I think this looks like a Jerry. I think he looks like a Jerry. I'm going to use that little koala. He looks so pleased with himself, that little guy. He does. He looks proper chuffed. <laughs> yeah. Um, or do I want to use the one he's got his little hands? I don't know. Have you got That's a plan for what the actual card's going to look like? No, I think I need to make don't some sort of... Yeah, like I know. Um, I need to make some sort of, I think, focal element to pop them in, so... Oh, no! Oh, no! I'll press that one. one. Some sort of focal element. Yeah, good shout, good shout. Because uh, otherwise it's just kind of floating in this fiesta background. It's floating in the fiesta. And I think I'm going to give him his little phone because it's too cute. <laughs> Good morning, Margo. How you doing? Laura says you're right. It's Jeffrey, but I always thought it was Jim. Laura's done a bit of Googling there. It's a bit like how I am in Toy Story. For years, I thought the horse's name was Bullseye. <laughs> it's not. It is, in fact, Bullseye. Which makes much more sense to think about it. But my parents never noticed either because I had a hobby horse and he was Bozai after the horse and toy story. Bozai. And it wasn't until many years later we all went, oh, actually, yeah, that oh, makes sense. That makes more sense. <laughs> Have you guys ever misheard a name in a, in a movie or anything? Let us know in the comments. When I was wee, I had... Have you ever seen um, The Gremlins? The Gremlins. I've seen bits of it. I've not seen all of it. Uh, okay. So uh, when I was wee, I had a gremlin, like, cuddly toy, a gizmo cuddly toy. And then my little cousin had one too, but she, like, plucked it. She would hold it under her arm like this and use this hand to pluck it. And then on this hand, she'd be sucking her thumb and she would take the fluff and put it in under her fingers like this and then like tickle her nose like this with it. <laughs> so her gizmo got completely um plucked to death. Uh, but anyway, my point of the story was she couldn't say gizmo because she was like two. And she just called him nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> nice boy. Oh, that's funny. That's what I thought too. <laughs> the whole plot of gizmo, uh, gizmos gremlins they're nice until you as long as you don't feed them after midnight don't or something, feed them but... after midnight don't spray them with water because that's when they start to reproduce and there was one more what was it what was the third rule i'm sure there was another rule don't feed them after midnight don't get them wet Hmm, don't know. Maybe one of our viewers will remember. <laughs> Leanne says, totally not relevant, but I am obsessed with your elf stamps. Oh, I love to colour all of those little bits and bobs to create scenes. Oh, that's lovely to hear. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, I'm so far from thinking about Christmas. The sun is shining here today. It's beautiful. I've already packed my bag to go away the weekend and now I'm thinking I might need to throw a pair of shorts in. You know what's going to happen as soon as you do that, so it's going to be horrible weather. 
Yeah, I know. It's so annoying. Because uh, I have noticed, as soon as I go to put sun cream on, the sun, goes, sun away. goes away. But if I don't put it on, that's how I end up burnt. And we already did that. And we will I would like to not repeat it. Oh, Louise says the third row was no bright lights. Is that did it? Did the bright lights kill them? I feel like that might be the case. I think that was like a solution to the problem. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna have. Some the background. We're gonna have. Um. Frame. Do, 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 do. We're going to add a little bit of grass at the bottom. Let's get some green. Oh, also Craig's little brother, Stephen, um, who, when he was a baby, it, he had... Um, a lion, like a toy that was a, a lion. He just called him Ra, oh. <laughs> which was supposed to be roar, you know, when the lion roars. A bit like in Northern Ireland, like I don't think any any ch children in our, you know, little babies, they don't say dog. They start with bow wow. Like, is that the bow? <laughs> Which is so stupid because dog is much easier words. Easier to say. Easier to say. <laughs> what to do it? I'm coloring a koala. Doing his little feet. I'm using the toner grays for this. So I have got T5, T3, and T1. Good job. Except I've just realised I've missed a bit of his belly. That was rude of me. Anyway. I know. Poor dude. What we go for? T3. I can't find the grassy lap. Ooh. Grassy lap is just a normal size, right? It's not slimline. No, he's just, he's just a normal baby. Has he, we, uh, I don't know if we've spoken about how we've restructured where we put our dyes for like live streams and stuff. We've now got like categories for them, so I wonder if he's just ended up in the wrong category. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through them. I know. I've grabbed C9 to do his little snoot. What color should I make him ears? Looks like he needs it random now. Let's go for EO2 and see what he looks like. Oh, I know why. You found him. I did. I forgot we had a panel called Borders. <laughs> oh, and he's in the border now. He's in the border <laughs> section. Oh, your phone has locked. Comments, come back. He was the last one. Christian says the third on the third one is Dominic Bose and Sunlight. Yes, 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 yes. You are right. Lauren says my grandfather had a teddy called Unksby. That's cute. His parents called it honky as it made a honk sign when you leaned him forward. But Gramps couldn't say it, so Unksby it was. Aww. We all have Unksby's now. Oh, that's amazing. That's so cool. I like that. Right. Well, that's looking good. Do you know what? I really enjoy colouring koalas. They're nice and easy. <laughs> yeah. I actually really enjoy a lot of critters. That's why I always recommend to people to start with greys. I mean, greys sound a little bit boring when you're buying like Copics and things, but actually rabbits and bears and dogs and like greys will go very far. Very far indeed. 
Goddess is here. Hey, Lizzie and Morgan. Hello. I liked thumbs up because I always love a heavy doodle day. <laughs> Thank you for your thumbs up. Awesome. Hmm. Um, I'm thinking I need to put him, I might put him in the middle, I think, but. What you gonna do? Yeah, how am I gonna place him in the middle? Well, you could do like a stitch star or a stitch square or a stitch heart or something and then yeah. make that like the focal element. Let's maybe do that. Or you could do something different where like you could literally cut this frame out of like this, but then still put the... Put that behind it. Put, put it you behind got it. Have vellum line? Yeah, I can get you vellum. I'll grab some vellum and put them in front. Right, I will die cut this frame out. I got you, boo. I never remember where he lives. He lives in the blue tray over there. So are you using that frame die as well? Yeah, sorry, I've stolen it. <laughs> All right, you big thief. Hmm. I'm going to show you my little pictures. Bye. Elena's better go. David's gone. Bye, David. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye, Elena. All right, so I'm thinking out loud here. I'm feeling I might go for a blue background. I wonder maybe if we should go for it. Instead of colouring it in, maybe some pattern paper because I love the hefty doodle pattern paper. Don't you? I yeah. sang a song just for you there. <laughs> so we could go for blue. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I think. Okay. We can go for a teal colour. I think the blue. I've made my decision. <laughs> and that's pretty much how I had to deal with the bathroom showroom this morning. Well, <laughs> look and look and look and look. And the lady's like, what about this one? And I'm like, no, I like this one. What about that one? What about this one? And I'm like, I have made my decision. This one, I cannot possibly look at another bath right now. Okay, so let's trim this down so it'll be big enough for my A2 panel. Like so. Laura says, I still haven't cut into my heavy doodle paper. Right, so I totally understand because um, I feel the same way. <laughs> like I have to have almost two of the same piece of paper so that I have one to appreciate and one to um just like stroke and stroke and love and then so the other one to use. Um Sawdust is asking about the mat. Would you like to take that question for us? This mat here, this is the Waffle Flyer Media Mat, and it is an absolute gem. So it's a silicon mat, it is heat resistant. Um, I haven't found anything that has marked it yet that you can't just remove with a baby wipe. Is it in the store? It is in the store, yes. Um, we haven't been able to get, you get little baby ones. Sorry, I think, I can't remember how big they are. These little baby ones, I don't think they are available anymore. We tried to order some in. Uh, we had great difficulty so you might have to have a look at waffle flower directly for the baby ones but these big boys I, but actually i bought the baby one thinking that i would use it a lot and i don't because i feel like it doesn't have enough space it's a bit me. awkward yeah because i found that when you're like ink blending and stuff you're always hitting the edge of it me too and you need a bit of space harder to clean. um and the other great thing about these mats is obviously we're using them sort of landscape just now but you can always just turn them around i'll do it to show y'all yeah and they've got little sort of palette sections here where i tend to stick my um ink blending tools not so much when i'm using a brush off them in there so they don't roll away so they're pretty cool too oh natalie's obviously on the chat she's got the link for sawdust there for the mat ah uh, good work natalie Woohoo! good job you weren't talking about her <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay, okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're gonna have a little manny. Um, I still think we'll put the frame on because I think that will be cute. 
and it shows another way to use this die because we're going to use this frame and then we're going to cut out these inside sections here and this will set, uh, sit a little like so. Do not make me shake a card if we're feeling that way inclined. Ooh, who knows? Jordy's Crafts is highlights this morning. Are the mini die cutting machines back in stock? Ah, so, so good news. I have good news. It's not quite the good news you really want right now, but it is uh, nearly, nearly at that level. To be fair, like given the drama we've had, this is <laughs> amazing news. So, we should, fingers crossed, you know, touch wood and all that. We should have them, I think, within the next fortnight. Um, the boat, I believe, should be coming into port today. Um, everything going to plan. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of an adventure to get them. <laughs> they've been on a boat, and um, good job with that. Way, Thank you. Um, they've been on a boat, and we've been tracking this boat, and it just seems to be the most painfully slow boat in the world. But to be fair, it was all to do with um, international issues. Yeah, which this boat was going to lots of different places, and some places are not operating at full capacity, um, as you can, I'm sure, imagine. So, um, good news is we, we've been told that they're Super nearly soon. here. Super <laughs> soon. So I'm taking my scissors, I've cut out this panel, and I'm just cutting out these little brace parts in the middle here. Hopefully you can see. Um, so you could just cut out one and have it like this. You make a cool little card like that. I'm going to cut out both of them. It's just a frame. So I think my koala is going to seem really lonely now with all these panels and it's just him. But I have some koalas that I coloured in a week while ago, but they're in my drawer in the office. Oh, Natalie? So. <laughs> <laughs> koala delivery, please. If you could, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the other thing is that you could... Uh, maybe cut out like some amazonian leaves or something i don't know yeah, what you're feeling about that i think it just needs something something else. Oh, or i could use something. these branches from my claws yeah. make this phone where i want it to be actually <laughs> i feel like i might have a phone die cut already but hey ho hey ho hey ho it's sudianko so apparently you have never seen teenage mutant ninja turtles no that was natalie Sorry, oh, Natalie, I'm naming and shaming you for not seeing oh, it. Oh, wait, Craig's already done that. <laughs> so, for a bit of context, uh, I was in the office this morning and Craig appeared and he asked me who the best Ninja Turtle was. So, apparently my answer of Raphael was acceptable. So, let me know if you guys have got a favourite Ninja Turtle. Mm -hmm. This has now become a scientific experiment. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> But we were discussing the fact that um, I think someone he'd spoken about it with was born the year before me and they hadn't seen the original series. Sure and now I don't know what series I have seen <laughs> because I've seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't put that way, I need it. Sorry, I'm tidying it. Um, or as uh, I messaged him about it because I thought I'll ask him. He'll know. And uh, he was like, now are you talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or the original Teenage, Teenage Mutant, Mutant Hero, Hero Turtles? Turtles? And I was like, what? So my mind's been blown today. All these things you never knew, you never knew. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that's that one. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Leanne's saying, I've never caught you guys live before. Well, I'm so excited to have you here. Uh, sometimes we go live a little bit later to see if we can catch our American pals. But today we had, um, I'm, I'm heading off this afternoon, so it was very much a well we'll have to do it sooner rather than later if we want to get it done situation yeah um well that's good we can we can mix it up oh there's footsteps koala delivery thank, thank you natalie you. you're the best yeah. i'm surprised she could find them in your desk oh they're in a they're in a pot i can't show you guys too much because there's stuff that you haven't seen in here Quite a pouch. It's a half finished Instagram reel sitting in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what that is. You should show them and then they're like, ooh, I'll keep an eye on it for it. So, um, Judy, Judy, Jordy, Jordy says, I'll be keeping my eye on the website then. Good idea. Keep your eye on the website for the 
um, die cut machine but also if you haven't already it's a really good idea to sign up for our newsletter this is exactly the kind of thing that we um, put in the newsletter to keep everybody um, informed and on top of things when we have new arrivals isn't that right it is indeed i found some pandas so they would go great on that they can go on there there's a koala oh now you're gonna have to make him glossy nose too i am not a bad thing though no <laughs> not at all i'm sure that there's more in here might have been used i'll be stuck behind something probably meanwhile i'm in capybara cutting out and then i'm going to assemble what i have got so far I might end up adding a little bit of ink to my happy birthday so it's not so dark looking i think that would work really well and then i have some other elements over here still the color in like the cake and the party hats but i'm not sure what colors i'm going to bring into this card yet so i'm gonna I'm going to leave my options open for the present moment. All right, so we're going to have a giraffe and we're going to have him. Happy Barra, Captain Cappy. And then we're going to have a happy B dash. I need to put the dash in. Purely because I've been looking at bathroom catalogues and a B day in a catalog <laughs> in the bathroom is very different to the happy B day on my card. If you know what I mean. It's one of these things you don't think about until you do. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, you're sparkly. Why are you sparkly? Mm. Mm, it's interesting. Probably because you love sparkles. I do. I do love sparkles. You out of the way when I assess who we've actually got here. Quite like the fact that it's got it stands out a lot that white. Maybe I won't colour it in jewelry out. Okay, so definitely gonna have a cake in here. What's your favourite cake, you guys? Are you a chocolate cake kind of person? good old plain victoria sponge kind of gal or guy or maybe like a carrot cake lots of options too many options <laughs> never too many options for cake uh craig's partial to red velvet that is a good choice you like a red velvet too don't I do, you? Yeah. Apart from that one time, I can't remember the story on a live stream before, I made red velvet cupcakes once when I was at uni. And because I was at uni, I was buying the non-branded versions of everything. And I bought a very uh, cheap and cheerful cream cheese. Oh. And my icing was really cheesy. You knew. It was not ideal. Not fun. I've attempted it again because I've been scarred for life. <laughs> I made um, <laughs> red velvet cupcakes last year for Craig and he said they're the best I've ever, ever made. I wonder though, because they're his favourite, if he was just trying to butter me up so that <laughs> I made them more or make them out. These are the best ever. You must, you know, abandon all other cupcakes that you've ever tried to make <laughs> and only make these. But the problem that I have with red velvet cupcakes is that Piper is dairy free and you can't have a red velvet cupcake without cream cheese frosting can you not enjoyably anyway no <laughs> Jordy's off dinner time here in the united arab emirates i'll finish watching later bye all right so this is i guess a bit more of a victoria sponge kind of cake i didn't want to go for chocolate because the cat fire is quite dark I don't think I'll use this panda because I have one the same up here. See if I can make my pandas a bit spotty to match my koalas. So I've got the colourless blender. And I don't know how well it's going to work because these have been coloured in for a little while. That'll be fine. Well, we'll just see. I'm going to add a little yellow to my card here. I was going to add some blue frosting. 
and then I thought actually no the background is blue so that would be like blue overboard and I was like I'll do like a green and then I thought no my grass is green so I have decided to go for yellow like a yellowy lemony color although I did see Kai's daddy earlier and um, apparently Sarah, Kai's mummy, was fretting a little bit because the cake has arrived and it actually says Ia instead of Kai. Oh. <laughs> so whoever made it has uh, made a little whoopsie. It happens. I always, um, people would spell my name wrong on a cake. You must have got it all the time, Megan. Uh, I've never had it on a cake, no. Emails, people, texts. I get Megan and I get Morag a lot. Yeah, Morag is popular here. Um, but never on a cake. I tell you what was spooky once though. We went into Costco mm -hmm. uh, on my birthday um, mm -hmm. and somebody else called Morgan mm -hmm. on a birthday cake waiting to be picked. And were you like, oh mommy, it's for me? She's no, like, it was just me and Keenan, so I knew uh... it was for me. <laughs> That and uh, there's definitely far too much cake in a Costco cake just for the few of us to eat. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. My days of Costco cakes are over, I think. They're always so like sickly sweet, I find. Mm. I don't know how I used to eat them at like kids' parties and things it's like cheap that. Cheap and nasty, probably. I remember when we were in Houston mm -hmm. on our Holly Bobs, we went into now, I don't remember which sort of supermarket place it was. But I just remember how luminously neon the icing was. I thought we definitely wouldn't get that over here. <laughs> you break out in hives or something. They were, yeah, proper like neon green icing on some of those cakes. I was like, I, wow. I used to get cake, my birthday cake from Patisserie Valerie. Oh, yeah. But I I know there's one in Aberdeen, but oh, um, a bit far to go just for a cake. Um. So what I have, what I saw not that long ago and was like, hmm, tempting for my birthday is the ice cream cakes in Mielis. Meow. 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 Ooh. Tempted with that cake. one. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoarding my own cakes. I don't know why. I've never had one, but they, they look amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we got to try that one out. I'm going to wait for my die cutting machine so while i'm doing that i'll fold up a card could you do me one too please of course thank you so for one off just cake all the cake less keen on cakes where there's more icing than cake says laura totally understand that yeah. Yeah. It's the same with like cupcakes. I love making cupcakes and I love making like icing them so they're pretty. But then whenever it actually comes to eating it, it's like whack off half of the icing. <laughs> <laughs> it's chocolate cake that's the uh, troublemaker for me. And it's not because I don't like it, it's because it gives me migraines. Yes, it attacks you from within, doesn't it? So, you know, as much as I want to eat an entire chocolate cake, I have to have a little piddly piddly tiny bit just in case. That little baby bit. But at least I can have some. That's very true. At least you can have some. Okay, I'm gonna make it a shaker because she's gonna do it. He's a baby. He likes to rattle things. Yeah, yeah let's I do would. it. So I'm going to use the extra thick clear acetate that we have this in the Happy Doodle store as well. And this is my favorite one because it, as it says on the tin, is extra thick. You can hear it's got a bit of a going, 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 like a bit of a Ralph Harris um, vibe to it there. Well, that's not a good reference these days. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't age well. No. But, um, we're gonna, I'm actually going to use a trimmer for that. Now, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but some of these boys are glossy. I did their nudes, but I'm gonna 
do the collab color today and these two pandas glossy after I've stuck them down because you need to leave them dry flat. Oh, any rogue glossiness? Yes, glossy accents is definitely a last job. Like you don't you don't do that ahead of the game. That is an off camera. You can apply it on camera, but then you must back away slowly. <laughs> yeah. So let's not do that. Now I play the game of is this the one that has the liner on it, or is it not? So... <laughs> Try and scratch it at the corner. See what happens. I have before made cards and then put them away or set them on my shelf and then afterwards come back and the whole card just falls off and it's because I've put adhesive on the plastic liner. Oh no. Yeah, and then the whole, eventually the liner falls off. This boy is just the right width. Well, that's useful. Yeah. I think there is a liner on this, so we shall crack on. I'm going to chop the end off of this. All right, I'm going to steal these. All right, and I'm going to go and grab some um, double side tape for this. I'm kind of like hiding off camera while I do this so I don't muck out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, holding your breath. Yep. There we go. Oh no, not the camera. Come back. There we go. We back. <laughs> the other one's just pinged off. <laughs> right. So I am going to place this on my card blank first, my frame B. So let's butt him. This is the other handy feature of the waffle flower media mat is that you can use these corners to line everything up nicely. Here, where is Bluebird? Bluebird's over there. I've pulled out some uh, red tape that is a little bit thicker than the little skinny skinny like one that I have. Just because I want this to have good um, sticking. I don't want it falling apart, especially if there's a one-year-old shaking it. So I'm not taking any risks here. Can't take risks with interactive cards, eh? No, not in the slices. <laughs> There we go, Gluebert's on my hand. We've got it over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> it was inevitable, so now it's done. So I'm just going to use that frame to find where these bays are going. Use that frame. So a big shout out to all the fathers out there. And happy Father's Day in advance for uh, Sunday. I'm expecting Amazon to hopefully arrive with a parcel for Mr. Roman. Although he did buy himself a grinder, a coffee grinder. <laughs> it was one of those, I did a thing, happy Father's Day to me moment. <laughs> oh, for the best. Because he'll say, I need a grinder, I need a grinder. And I'll go, well, do you want, you really want me to buy the grinder or you want to like get a good grinder? You want me to buy an anything grinder or do you want to get an actual good one? Like, no, I'll do it there. So you just. I'm using your corner trick here as well. A good trick. Is I used to use my um whatever it's called. Misty. Sorry, I got distracted with <laughs> the concentration. Oh, what's the concentration? Yes, uh, I used to use my Misty for that, but seeing as this is just here, it's handy, handy. Um, I obviously cut my panel fractionally wide. Pair of scissors, trim it down, bada boom, bada bing. Right. Oops. 
No, it's you because you're empty. No, you're not. Who's empty? Little baby tape runner. Right, let's go and get some um, Happy Doodle foam tape. No, he's just and trying to I have one of my foam tapes that um, actually fell and ran across the room. So he is somewhat unraveled. But he still works. And I'm diligently making my way through him. I'm getting there. So, right. Are you gonna need any foam? No, you're going flat down, are you? Um, I might use it for frame. I don't know. Okay. Yes, the frame might be good. And get this backing tape on. Oh, ooh, that's actually. Mm. Oh, it's okay. It's gonna be covered. Yeah, it'll be covered. It's fine. Blonde moment. It's a Friday. Friday fun time moment, isn't it? So here, here, I need your opinion, everybody. Do I put the grass on top of the frame like this, or I'm just waiting for Morgan to finish her concentration <laughs> so she can look? I put it on top of the frame like this. Or do we put it under the frame like that? I actually quite like it on top of the frame. I think it makes it blend in more. Yeah. I've answered my own question. It's always good when you do that, isn't it? I know. I know where it is. <laughs> Let's add a little bit of tape onto this. No. Oh, this one. We'll do a spot. Oh, sorry, I thought that. I thought that was a clever place to spot it, but obviously not. scissors over here so I can use them two pieces. There we go. This is the trick to uh, keeping your scissors nice is to keep one set for adhesives. Yeah. <laughs> so I wear shearing scissors as well that there's a pot full of them over there. You know that. <laughs> they are the designated adhesive scissors. They are and actually these ones have like a Teflon or something coating on it but we tap them against um, clear embossing ink don't we every so often. Uh, but they're not gunky, so it's fine. Don't have to worry about it. Okay. Let's get these together. We're going to have a little giraffe. Oh, I know what we're waiting for. Cut these out, don't I? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah. I feel like this is a bit too in your face yellow. But maybe it's okay, I just need a balance out. You know what would be a good idea to do that is maybe use some enamel dots. I think so. I think yellow is just one of these colours. It really depends entirely on the shade of it. Yeah, I think so too. What your feelings are on it. I'm just going to fill in some of these gaps so I don't want my frame being wonky. Wonky donkey! I think you should be okay though. There we go. Oh, comments have bashed. Mm -hmm. Please. There we go. We're going to take Granda. Right, well, we were going to take him out for uh, food, but I think probably we'll just end up getting a takeaway with Granda over the weekend. So that's going to be nice. Can I have your koalas, please, so I can cut out this little hat? Mm -hmm. No, that's panda. That's panda. That's the wrong creature. There you go. Okay, 
my parents are full of the cold, so we're gonna go and see Keenan's dad on Father's Day, and then maybe go see my parents next weekend. That's a good shout. They're also in the midst of painting the house, so uh, we're off doing the rounds. Yeah. We'll avoid adding to the chaos. <laughs> yes, for sure. I feel like that's what this house is going to end up being. Don't know how our live streams are going to work for the next little while. If we're going to have builders in here. Um, it might depend on the internet and the office situation. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to wait and see. Happy B day. Okay, let's stick this down. I'm going to spray some glue for this. So I thought if I uh, actually remember to wear my glasses, I would struggle less with the release paper on the foam tape, but no, it's just me. I have run out of excuses. It is just me. Some of them do fight with you though, that's the thing. Once you get like the little corner bit of it, it's alright, but... You need your pokey tool. Yeah. I broke one of my nails when I was skating on Monday and then cut it all down really low. Aww. And now I can't lift anything because my nails are so short. Which is funny because then you can't lift your nails because your nails get so long sometimes. I can't lift your uh, yeah. crafty things. I'm thinking I might get another week out of these guys and I'm going to have to take these nails off. Mm -hmm. They're getting too long. Then you maybe do mine. I feel like it's been forever since I've had my nails done. Probably March on holiday, was it? Uh, yes, maybe. Shocking. I don't know. It's been longer since I've done my own nails. I went and got these done for the various weddings. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, these are not my family work. It's not a Morgan exclusive. No. See, this giraffe is hiding over here, so I'm going to put him away in case he uh, gets lost. I mean, nobody wants a lost giraffe. Ask the kids of Madagascar. <laughs> Do you remember who the giraffe is voiced by in Madagascar? David Schwimmer. It is indeed. Yeah. Which is funny because when I saw Madagascar, I had no idea who that was. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah, I hope he doesn't like lose his capybaraness now that I've covered his ears. <laughs> He looks really funny. <laughs> he does a bit, doesn't he? He looks really derpy. Derpy, derpy, derpy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the phone in the hands of one of the koalas. So it's got two of the same boils. Uh, and I'm gonna give the pandas a phone because there's a sentiment that says koala me sometimes add layer. Yeah, so you have to phone. have the koala hold him, money. Yeah, so the panda, this panda boil here has got an internal cut link too, so he can hold one of the phones. Oh, good idea. Oh, maybe it's like they're calling each other. Yeah. Oh, wait, could you put that way and have them like calling each other from the oh, other side of the world? Or doing it like that. I like that. Um, so I don't want to glue his phone in just now because I'm going to make it shiny like the other one. So I'll just place them on and then we can glue them off camera. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be able to make your design work with that uh, landscape situation? I don't know. I have to pop them all down and see where it takes you. I feel like I've got a lot of tenderness and not enough real estate for them that way around. Don't have to use them all. I also don't have to choose which one of these guys I like the best. Which is always hard. Oh that is hard. I think this one. Yeah. 
the one I didn't color today on camera. <laughs> Fine, we'll just swap them. You can go back in the pocket. Yeah. You'll come out another day. Won't he? Yeah. So he can hold the phone. Like that. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. And we're gonna put this little tiny baby back in the pocket too, because I don't know where he's gonna live. Unsupervised. And then. Meanwhile, I'm at the point where I'm sticking down my cake. In the background here. My capybara too, but I might add a little gift at the front. I'm not sure yet, and um, still haven't decided whether I'm going to add a one on my cake, or I add the word Kai. Because I quite like adding the word Kai mostly because Kai is an unusual name, and I think that, um, like especially with Piper, um, I would never get cards that had Piper's name on it so then having one with Kai's name on it is maybe a little bit of a novelty although I think Kai is probably becoming more popular nowadays let us know in the comments do you know Kai? Brother, Kyle. oh yeah my nephew is a Kyle completely different though <laughs> completely yeah. different thing though <laughs> I'm going to add a stitched heart in the middle to put one. Good idea. And I've just stuck down my spotty, beautiful blue boil. Um, and I'm going to add some sequins and things behind this. So let me just take a break from letters and numbers and figure out what's going to go in at the back here. Oh, I've pulled this out. No idea where this came from, but how look really cute behind there, I think. Quite a collection. Let's do it. Laura says she knows of two dogs called Kai. Two dogs. <laughs> and how many Pipers call how many dogs called Piper? Piper. Dogs. How many Pipers called Kai? How many dogs called Piper? Every time a Piper is like, oh my is Piper, and people are like, oh, I know some of the dog called Piper. I have... But we don't take offence because dogs are actually better than humans, so that's fine. <laughs> I remember when I was in sixth year of high school, um, I buddied a social sciences class. Mm -hmm. And I thought one of the kids was mucking about because obviously I had to figure out what all their names were. Mm -hmm. And you know when there's just some kids and they've got the proper like cheeky kind of, you can tell they're mucking about. Yeah. And I'm like, and what's your name? He went, oh, my name is Benji. Mm -hmm. Now, our uh, Copper Spaniel was called Benji, and my brother was in the same year, and I thought, he's just said this, but yeah. he knows what my dog's called, and he's doing this to muck about. So I was kind of like, haha, very funny, what's your name? He's like, no, it's actually Benji. I really like Benji. <laughs> it felt so terrible. <laughs> the same time, not really. Because <laughs> it definitely shut him up when I was like, that's my dog's name. <laughs> Rude. Please behave. That's where you got bad feedback on that. <laughs> so I think that was the worst. That was one of these things that you're like, yeah, buddy a class and get some experience because if you want to go and do teaching or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, here, hand out the paper. Here, hand out pencils. I'm like, I'm not learning anything about what, yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm what actually the... teaching. Yeah. So uh, that was pretty much me whenever at uni they sent me to France to teach english and um i think the teachers just decided hey i could do with a free period let's just dump all these kids on this unsuspecting foreign woman <laughs> uh. hey ho these little guys are like static to the max so I'm spending most of my time picking them off my fingers. 
but I think they're actually pretty cute to be honest. Alright, I'm going to pop this back into, oh there's another rogue one, rude. Pop this back into the corner so that I can adhere my card backing on it, making sure that my fold is on the right side. <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been there. All right, and then I'm going to give it a good old rub along where the edges are. Because that's where my foam tape, I need it to secure. Yeah, yeah lovely. Lovely, doubly. I feel I have to make a decision. I either have Kai's name on there or I have the number one on there. Decisions, decisions. What do you think? Decisions, decisions. I think I need a little gift down here as well. So I'll pop this to the side while I ponder. Do you want gift. a tiny gift from Koala? Ooh, maybe. I'll tell you what, if there's one, ah, there's one already stamped, so that made that decision fairly easy for me. <laughs> Hello, a rogue. Oh, you travelled far. Oh, I love this. This it's has come so out really cute. nice. So much for not knowing what I was doing. Oh, she just trust the process. Trust the process. I'm going to stick this part down because I know I definitely want to. We're also coming up to time. It's nearly uh, three. Oh no! We have to do some sneaky uh, finishing touches off camera. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's inevitable. Cute. Laura says, I don't know of any other British pipers. There you go. Now my koala's back beneath uh -huh. the ice. I shouldn't have pawned it off so <laughs> quite so quickly. I'm getting rogue bits from that die cut there. It's okay. Uh oh, readies. I'll stick some of these that's guys awesome. Watch me forget. I said I wasn't going to glue that photo and I'm going to go and do it, aren't I? <gasps> Typical. Fine, some people just can't even trust themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but you know these situations where like, you know, don't say something, don't, don't think about something and you immediately think about it yeah. or say it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna cut out Kai because I think that's going to be the best way to finish off this card, I think. Glue the pink foot in. Oh. Hmm? So if we glue the pink foot in, it's done. It's already glossed. Oh yes. Pretty glossed. For your convenience. Um, don't think we have a poker tool over here yet, do we? No, I haven't used the poker tool yet today. All my dies want to stay in my, all my die cuts want to stay in my dies. So 
rude. Oh, that's so adorable. I feel like I should move them further into the middle, but that doesn't Why don't you there. like put either extra phones or like love hearts or enamel dots or something? Oh, I have lots of a good shirt, wouldn't it? Gotta love an enamel dot. I know. I'll grab another wee bit of fume tape as well. Concentration. <laughs> Get off, come on. You're being a bad boy. There we are. I got it. And that's stuck to my nail. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put some acrylic block on that. Just to help secure that for a little minute. I do feel like my cake is missing something. On the top. Did I put a love heart on or something? I don't know. Yeah. But one of your sequins, that rogue heart oh, that's in there. Yeah. Yeah, that is really big enough. So I'm not cutting him down because he's due his phone. Oh, my baby. But he will look like that when he's done. He will look like what? Him. He'll still live in there. Nice. Oh, there is a little panel here on its own. I wonder will it fit on. Mm, a little bit tall. Usually about tall, but I can maybe make him stubby. Trim him down a bit. Trim him down. See what we can. Why not? I'm not even gonna bother with fancy uh, doodah. Just see if I can lay them all out next to my koalas, but I'm not one of them. What collection is this again? Mm, party collection, maybe? Party collection. It will say on the. Uh... There we go. Ta da! It'll say on the paper in there. In the... Oh, it says on the front, like, party collection. <laughs> there you go. Right there! I was right there, I was right there. Yeah. Right. Could, I pass, could you pass me a purple? Purple. Purple. Do that. Oh, I hate you. Bottom right and the one above it. And the one above it as well? That was the one. Oh, and that's not the one above it. And the one underneath in there. The O5. For the hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, a yellow of any description. It's just for the flame. Uh, white. Hmm. Awesome. So are you done? I am done. All right, you can put these away there. Yeah. All right. Die cut out this little candle. So I just took a baby wipe and wiped away the ink on the bottom half of that candle so that the candle was not as tall. So I kept the top half and not the bottom half. A little bit of like partial inking. So what this means is that my dye will be longer than what I have stamped. We shall just trim it off like so. And I'm hoping this will now be a bit more of an acceptable size to go underneath the word Kai. That looks great. 
still interferes a little bit with decay, but not enough to be problematic, I don't think. Nah. By the way, if you guys are feeling inspired by this whole rainbow uh, shenanigans going on over here, the Happy Doodlers monthly challenge this month is Radiant Rainbows. Mm -hmm. And it is totally free to... Oh, hello. It's yeah. off of my koala. Right. I, wrote, I think the bottom part of that candle or something. Yeah, off of there. Oh, probably. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's totally free to enter and all you have to do is create something that matches the monthly theme. Yeah. And post it in the album on the Happy Doodlers Facebook page. Yeah. And then at the end of the month... Any whites? Ooh. Or after you've done your, uh, the rest of it? I'll be designed. Okay. Um... At the end of the month, the winner of the challenge will receive a gift voucher to the Happy Doodle store. Yes. So it's totally worth fun. giving it a go. Lots of fun. And if you saw this morning's newsletter, you will see a couple of entries we've had so far from Linda. Uh, let me see if I can remember who I put in. Linda, Megan, and Marcy, I believe. Awesome. I nice. apologise now if I have actually forgotten <laughs> what her name was. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call this done. We have a cute shaker card with rogue things still flying around, but they're not coming out of my card. No. Anyway. <laughs> um, so I have a, a shaker card here. I've used the birthday trio and I've also used my stitched alpha batters along with the popping by for the cake, the two by two safari animals and then a few little things like the hat and the gift from the quality. How rude. Come back. <laughs> How rude indeed. <laughs> from the quality hugs and then I finished off I've used the enamel dot and of course in the background is the pattern paper from our six by six paper pad and what have you done? I have used the koalas and the mobile phones and the sentiment from quality hug mm -hmm. along with the pandas from fantastic painters um, I've also used the birthday trio I've used a little bit of vellum and the fiesta time stencil along with the party collection of Catherine Poor inks so, two different cards, both using that frame. That same frame. Yep. And both feeling with summery vibes, I think. Oh, totally. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Let's hold these up a little bit so that everyone can get a good look. Hold it up here. There we go. Our final cards. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining us today for some crafty fun time. Start the weekend off in a fun and fabulous way. I think so. I think so too. Yeah. Have a great weekend and happy Father's Day to all uh, fathers out there. Y'all are the bomb. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.